Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthiman. Today I am going to take a training on commercial property insurance. So this insurance is primarily used when I have my own business and if something happens to my building or my personal property that I use for my business. To start with, what are the possibility of loss when I have my own business? Step number one is type of property that I use, right? Like if I have my own business, I could have a building or I could have a personal property that I use for my business. So the first thing is the real property. When I say real property, it is a building or my garage which is attached to my building. And then personal property. Like when it comes to personal property, I could have my own property that I could use for my business. Like if you have a Xerox machine that you use for business, that's a personal property. Or property in transit right so you know most of the businesses they don't have the property within their building sometimes they need to tr take a property from their one location to another location so that's what we call property in transit so temporary coverage temporary coverage can be given for a property that is in transit third one is property in possession of others say like if I have my business like a camera, I am a cameraman, I am using my camera as my personal property. For some reason it is damaged. I wanted to give it to a repair shop for getting it repaired. So my personal property is in possession of others. So that is also one type of you know, cause of loss. So we have to take into account. Floating property, right? Like you know, most of the businesses will have a property which will be always you know floating across multiple locations instead of one location. Again, the camera is a good example. If I'm a cameraman, most of the time the cameramans take the camera for the videographing of the marriages or functions. So these are the pretty much you know property-wise, real property, personal property, under personal property we have contents, property in transit, property in possession of others, and floating property. So every time when you wanted to think about the possibility of cost, you'll have to take into account this property sessions. Similarly, cost of loss, right? Like if I have a building and there could be different cost of loss, one could be fire, one could be vandalism. So whenever you think about the possibility of loss, you'll also take into account the cost of loss along with the properties. Third one is financial consequences. As we all know, most of us run our business for gaining some kind of profit, right? If in case a property is damaged and I could not run my business for a couple of months, so there's a financial consequence for that. So we need to also take that into account when we determine the possibility of loss. So every time a loss exposure, as I told you, it's nothing but possibility of cost loss. Like, you know, what are the different possibilities that we have for our business to encounter loss? So these are the things that you need to take into account. Now we know what are the possibility of loss. The second thing is, what is the structure of a commercial property policy? To start with, it starts with a declaration page. So a declaration page is nothing but it is going to have the primary named insured details, what is the coverage limit, what is the detectable, detectable is where like if there is a loss, as an insured we have to pay a certain amount of money before the insurance company starts giving their coverages. And what are the cost of, cost of loss forms, what are the coverage forms, so all those details will be in the declaration page. It's kind of you no know, primary page which will have a detail specific to the insured. Second thing is one or more coverage forms. As I rightly mentioned, when I say commercial property, it's not just the coverage for the property, building or the personal property. We do have coverage for the business income loss. Like if I'm running my business, for some reason my property is damaged. Indirectly, I'm losing my business income for a certain number of days or a certain number of months. So commercial property will also take care of that. So for that, they have a separate form like business income and loss. So when it comes, when I say coverage forms, we do have multiple coverage forms. The mostly used coverage forms is building and business personal property, which we'll discuss in the next session. But just for now, assume that when I say commercial property, we do have multiple coverage forms. One or more cause of loss forms. As I really mentioned in the first training session, we have something like basic, broad and special. So basic form covers a list of cause of loss like fire, vandalism, Similarly, broad includes some more additional cause of loss, but when it comes to special form, it's a generic form. It says everything is covered until it's excluded. So those cause of loss forms also is going to be attached. The reason why they are including here is, you could always say for a building, I'm using special cause of loss form, whereas my personal property should include basic cause of loss form. So it depends accordingly. So that's the reason why we mentioned what cause of loss form we are using for each coverage. Conditions. So conditions are also is going to play an important role. So if you need a required coverage, there are certain conditions that you need to alert to. 
one example is if there is a loss you need to inform the insurance company within 30 days or like you know if there is a loss you need to inform the police accordingly within a certain number of days so if those, if those conditions are not satisfied the coverage will be not given to the insured endorsements so the basic form is going to give required coverage but there are some customers who want a specialized policy in those cases they add endorsements endorsements are nothing but a kind of you know, coverage that we give to the insured for an extra premium so they give pay extra premium and they add their endorsements so that they have the required coverage customized for them and this is what i would like to try to cover today so to start with the different cause of uh, possibility of losses are types of property cause of loss financial consequences similarly the structure is it starts with declaration and one or more coverage forms one or more cause of loss forms conditions and endorsements in our next session we'll cover one of the most used forms like building and business property coverage form under commercial property i hope you like my training videos if you like my training videos please do subscribe to my youtube channel thank you have a great day